briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court of the United States took up the 1939 case, Helvering v. Owens, which centered around a tax dispute involving deductions for property damaged by casualties not used for business. The adjusted basis, or the original cost minus depreciation, determines the amount taxpayers can deduct in such cases. The court sought to resolve differing opinions by lower courts on how to calculate the amount of loss from property damage for non-business property. Two separate incidents led to the lawsuit. The first involved a car bought for $1,825 and used for leisure until it was damaged in an accident. The market value fell from $225 to $190, and although the taxpayers claimed a $1,635 deduction, the commissioner allowed only $35. The second incident involved a boat, boathouse, and pier purchased for $5,325, which were destroyed by a storm, leaving the property valued at $3,905. The commissioner allowed only the value at the date of destruction. In both cases, lower courts ruled in favor of the taxpayers. The Supreme Court needed to decide whether the basis for determining the loss should be the original cost or the value immediately before the casualty. In the boat owner's case, the Circuit Court of Appeals' judgment was reversed because it relied on the boat's value prior to the destruction, which went against Section 113 b. On the other hand, the car owner's case was upheld by the board for correctly interpreting taxpayer basis law. So much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.